soon as the braking system built up its pressure, it was applying the brakes for me while I was driving down the road. That's why the brake lights were on. Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thank you for being part of it. If you get a chance, please slip down into the description of the video and you'll see a place for donations, t-shirts, and stickers. It really helps the channel. And to those of you that have donated recently and in the past, thank you so much. It truly, truly helps keep all this going. Today, I'm asking you, don't fast forward through the video. And the reason being is in a few videos recently, I'm getting emails and comments asking me questions about what's already in the video. So please watch the video the whole way through if you're interested in it. Uh, what we're going to do, a few people have brought up in the Facebook community group about the push rod adjustment for the master cylinder. Now, this is very important. If you change your master cylinder, you probably should check that. And that's what I'm going to go over today. And while I have no interior in a car, it gives me an advantage to go ahead and show you what to do and what it can cause and the problems that come with it. So let's go over it all today. I'll keep this as quickly as possible. I hope everybody is having a wonderful Friday. Let's get started. Okay, before I bring you up close, which I will do momentarily, I wanna go over a couple of things real fast and then we'll get inside the car and go over everything. The only reason you should ever have to adjust this push rod that I'm gonna show you and go over intently is if you've bought a new master cylinder, say you bought a cheap one, which I don't advise, that's really not a good idea, you're probably going to have to adjust it. Now, sometimes these push rods do become wore out, okay, where so much hammering on them in and out, eventually the metal wears down a little bit. Also, a lot of times if you switch to a single to a dual circuit master, then you're going to have to adjust the rod. If you've taken uh, a pedal assembly out of another car, the brake stop on the bottom sometimes will be bent slightly into a different position, okay? Or your brake stop on the floor could be actually needing adjusted itself, but we'll go over that shortly. But you don't adjust these just for something to do. And I'm going to go over a lot of things in this video, so don't skip through it. Come here up here. So here is master cylinders. This is off of my 68. And if you wonder, it has three switches on it. Okay. The middle one is for the idiot light is what I call it. What we're used to over the years. On the dashboard. So when you press your pedal and you lose your brakes, the light comes on. <laughs> I know you already know you've lost your brakes. So what happens on these, and I'll just keep this part brief, is I'm going to take these two two bladed switches and put them on my master, my new one. This is from uh, Wolfsburg West. Okay. Now I can substitute and buy three prong switches and put them in here so I can hook all the wiring up for the idiot light. I'm not bothering if you want to, I can give you a diagram. It's very easy on how to go to the three blade switches so that you can hook all the wires up on the new style. You can't buy uh, the three uh, these switches anymore set up for the 68 like that. Now I could probably be blast this, clean it up and probably rebuild it, but I don't wanna. So that's that. Uh, I just wanted to, before somebody said, why is the switch is different on this and noticed it in the video, that's why I wanted to let you know. Uh, if you do hear a mild humming in the background, my heater's running. It's uh, 24 degrees out today. Ugh. Anyhow, okay, so here is the masters. Wait, let me take this rubber off of here and the bolts. I keep everything together all the time. If you noticed, I'm not in the videos as much so you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to adjust how I'm filming so you can see what you need to. All right. So what we have here, okay, is your, whoop, let me readjust. Sorry about that. 
Now we're going to go inside the car and show you how to properly adjust it, but I'm giving you an idea and taking advantage of the camera view. So what you have here is your push rod, okay, for the brake pedal so you don't get confused. What you have here is a, I probably tightened it, no I didn't, there is your lock nut and then you put a wrench on this and you can adjust this longer or shorter so it moves in or out. Then you just lock it back off. <clears throat> this goes on to the brake pedal, clips onto the side, and we'll be going over that in a minute. So when you push the brake, this pushes the piston inside the master cylinder, okay? What that is doing is sitting right in here, okay? So this is on the other side of the firewall. This is hooked to your pedal, and it goes there. So every time you push your brake pedal, this is pushing in, okay? So you're going to push in on the piston, and that's what activates the brakes. So that should make sense to you. But there's a lot you need to know about this. You're supposed to have one millimeter of free play between here, okay? Which means before this bottoms out in the piston, there should be one millimeter of gap. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So don't go, oh crap, how am I going to make that work? You need a little bit of free play before it actually hits. Because if not, you're going to have a problem. Okay, now I'm going to get you up close in a moment to the pedal assembly because there's very important things that I'm going to show you. But first, let me explain something else. All right, as you can see, I popped my master cylinder on real quick to show this. Now, there is your pedal stop, which we'll go over that in a moment. And there is your rod, as you can see, is pushing in on the piston in the master cylinder. Now remember, the brake pedal free play, okay, is the amount of movement. See that? Okay, that's the amount of movement before the push rod, this here, touches the piston on the master cylinder. It's kind of a distinctive feel, okay? But if you use your hand like I am, you can tell. Okay, right there. See that? Your piston is not being depressed yet. That is just the pedal free play. And that free play should be between 5 and 7 millimeter. And what that should amount to is 1 millimeter of play on the push rod before it touches the piston. Now, here is the best way I can explain it. The distance of that gap is like extremely critical because it can assure that after that braking piston comes back far enough, it releases the pressure and it doesn't cause the braking system to have pressure and be applied. So that little bit of free play, it may not seem like much, but it is. All right. So let me show you something else now. When you are trying to do your measurement, a five to seven millimeter of just play. You can hear it. It ain't doing anything but a little bit of play. Just take a measuring stick, put it against your firewall. I call it the front firewall. And then go ahead and push and see how much play you have. It should be between five and seven millimeter once again. And when you have five to seven millimeter at the pedal, you should have one millimeter of play. See that? Which I still have to measure mine, but I'm not done yet working on the car, obviously. You should have one millimeter down there. So that's how that works. Now, let me explain a couple of other things before I let you go back to your daily life. A lot of times when people's brake pedals, okay, are forward slightly or back slightly, they often think, well, I'll adjust the push rod and adjust the brake pedal. Please don't do that. Don't ever, ever do that. Now, we are looking at the back part of the pedal cluster. Now, do you see that bolt? I'm trying to squeeze my big head in here. 
with a slide, okay? Mine may look different than yours because I have the big boy pedal extender to move the pedals further apart, okay? But even the factory, one that looks like this, will slide a little bit. You always want to adjust your pedals to where they should be, all right? But if you loosen that up to make an adjustment, watch that your clutch pedal don't fall forward because guess what? Your clutch cable is going to come off. Then you're going to have to pull the assembly out and then you're going to be upset. I just wanted you to know that. Now, if you have moved the pedal assembly and you move that brake stop slide, is what I call it, recheck your adjustment. It is very, very important, okay? And I'm going to explain what happened to me. It'll take about one minute, and you'll realize why this is crucial. Okay, if you recall the last adventure, when I first started on YouTube a couple of years ago, I had the 73 Super Beetle like you see here. All right, I went ahead and put a brand new master cylinder in it, tore the pedal assembly apart, bear with me, completely cleaned it up, okay, removed the pedal stop, cleaned the floors real nice, put all new brake lines on. All right, I put it back together and I didn't measure the distance for the, that's right, push rod. And it seemed okay by feel, but I didn't measure it. What had happened is, and I'm not trying to bore you, started the car, it ran great, took it for a little test drive, thought it felt a little bit underpowered. No big deal, okay? I figured the, the rings were still tight, had new pistons, brought it back into the garage and I was messing with the car at the back end and it was running. The brake lights came on. Ugh. I thought I had an electrical problem, okay? So I started messing with the electrical system. The brake lights went out. I didn't touch anything yet. Okay, whatever, I ignored it. I figured I'll come back to that later. So I did come back to it later, but it was kind of too late. So I took the car for a test drive and could not figure out why I was lacking so much power. Something was wrong. Brought it back. And then realized, wait a minute, I could feel that I was being held back and I'm going somewhere with this. Check, and I'm going to show you how to adjust it in a moment. Check it thoroughly because what happened as soon as the braking system built up its pressure, it was applying the brakes for me while I was driving down the road. That's why the brake lights were on. I should have known better, but that's okay. We make mistakes. It happens. But always check that. I'm going to go over it real quick with you, and then you can handle this. It's not a big deal. And like I said, there's numerous reasons that you will have to adjust yours. If you have the same master cylinder, the same brake pedal assembly, everything is fine. You didn't loose your pedal stop up on the floor, then leave it alone if it's working fine. Don't do this for something to do. It's really not required maintenance to play games with it, so leave it alone. But I noticed my brake lights were coming on and was like, what? That's why. So let me bring you inside one more time and we'll close out and I'll tell you what's coming up. Now, when you start out by measuring the distance to grab that five to seven millimeter, measure from the top of your pedal or look it up and do it how you see fit. I measure from the top of the pedal. Keep this level against the firewall, and that's when you're going to check. You're hearing that right against there, but there's my free play. You're going to check that it's between 5 and 7 millimeter. If it is not, then you are going to break loose the lock nut, okay? And then you can turn this nut that is actually welded to the rod, and it will pull it in or out whichever way you need to go. Sorry about the movement there. I'm holding with one hand, of course. That's how you will adjust it. Don't forget to lock that locking nut back up when you're now, done. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these are metal, very strong, good old-fashioned German metal. 
but from getting pushed in and out a lot, this can wear down, which will change it, okay? So make sure to check it if you feel that you are having an issue. Now keep in mind, if you have to adjust this, this is critical. This is not a joke. Make sure that your brake system is fully bled properly. Make sure that your brakes are adjusted properly, okay? And then do your adjustment. Make sure your pedal stop is where it needs to be. Don't start fussing around because that's not going to adjust the rod. Actually, it may adjust it where you don't want it to be. Don't ever use that rod to adjust your brake pedal to where the adjustment should be on it. That's what the pedal stop is for, okay? And also remember your clutch cable can pop off if you move that pedal stop and the pedal drops forward. I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm trying to make sure in case you were one of them people that skipped through and missed something. So let me explain what's coming up here and then we'll close out and we'll let you go. I did bring up about the pedal extender. Uh, I did a video on that, as you can see here. And you can find it in the playlist. Now, the reason I brought that up is my pedal stop looks different. Mine looks like this when a factory one will look like this. And you can see the extended shaft there and tell how far apart the pedals are. So when I put a roller pedal on, I'm going to have a nice amount of room between the gas and the brake and between the brake and the clutch. So I think that's awesome. All right. So that was your requested video a couple of you asked for uh remember it's very delicate five to seven millimeter free play on a pedal just with your hand not your foot which equivalent see of one millimeter of travel between the push rod and before it touches the piston i hope that made sense to all of you it should have though uh coming up uh, Heather and I are going to get together and test out the ultrasonic cleaner, okay? And that should be a lot of fun. We have a lot of different things we're going to try with it. As I showed in a previous video at the end, it's a 30 liter. It's over 8 gallons. So <laughs> it's going to be fun. We're going to put a cylinder head in there, uh, possibly a steering box, a couple of things. Uh, we're going to test this thing out. I was waiting to do it, and I finally got it. They send me a promo code. So if you do want one, and you can get any size. They have a lot of different sizes available, and it'll give you either 5 or 10% off. But let's see how this thing works, and that should be next week's video, me and Heather together. And then we got to get back in the engine. We were waiting on a couple parts, and uh, we're switching to different pistons uh, at the owner's request. So... That's it. Thanks for being here. I'm going to try to be on live chat uh, tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, and I will post it in the Facebook group and also post it on my Facebook page, and I'll put it on a community tab here. So keep an eye out, and thank you everybody for being part of this amazing community. I appreciate all of you. See you soon.